All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great, great Millstone. And it's Shashir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and putting in the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Uh, title of this video is Where Was Jehovah and the Jehovah Witnesses uh, During uh, American Slavery? Okay, now in this uh, uh, article from uh, Wikipedia, okay, it says uh, Jehovah Witnesses beliefs. Okay, the beliefs of Jehovah Witnesses are based on the Bible teachings of Charles Taze Russell, okay, founder of the Bible student movement. Okay, now it says, and successive presidents of the Watchtower Society. Joseph Franklin Ruth Rutherford and Nathan Homer North. Okay, now you go into Charles Taze Russell. Okay, uh, it says uh, he was born 1852 and died October 1916. So when our people first went into slavery, okay, he wasn't even born, man. Okay, he wasn't even around. Jehovah Witnesses was not around, okay, during the time when uh, our people went into slavery, okay, or, or that this land, okay, uh, got uh, uh, taken over from the so-called white man, okay? Now, I'm going to just bring it up. When did slavery begin and end in uh, America? Okay. Which it, it ultimately began in the, the uh, early 15, 1600s. Okay. And it ended. Okay. Which they try to say it ended around 18, uh, I think it's 76. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, okay, the 1860s, 1876, okay, which, um, you know, just because they said that slavery ended at that time don't mean that uh, it ended, okay, because it was still going on. Now, um, say 1860. So the, the point is that Charles Taze Russell, okay, did not exist during uh, slavery, okay, or Jehovah Witnesses didn't exist, okay. Now, continuing on, okay, because the, the, the thing is that history is extremely important, okay, and uh, as the Bible says, okay, uh, what is it, Ecclesiastes 1, I want to say. It's probably the third chapter, okay, where it says that the Lord requires that which is past. Uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, 15. It says, that which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been. And God requires that which is past, okay? So, the thing is, when you go into the history, okay, the things that happen, history hit, repeats itself, okay? So, you have to show, okay, where in the Bible did Charles Taze Russell ever exist in Jehovah Witnesses exist in the scriptures okay because when you bring it up okay you're not going to find okay just doing a random uh word search you're not going to find anything that says jehovah witnesses it says there are no concordance re re results for jehovah and witness in the king james version okay so that automatically um knocks jehovah witnesses from out of the scriptures because jehovah witnesses have never been before, 
Okay, this is a new um, religion. Okay. Um, but continuing on on this this article. Okay, it says Jehovah Witnesses believe which Charles Taze Russell is the Edomite. Okay. It says um, oh after his death. Right? Jehovah Witnesses and numerous independent Bible study groups developed from this base. Okay? It says, Jehovah Witnesses believe God is the creator and supreme being. Right? Which, you know, his name is Yahweh, not Jehovah. Okay? That's one, one of the things I wanted to get also. Okay? Um... It says, if the letter J is only 400, 500 years old, was there a J sound that preceded this, the design of the letter? I understand that the letter J is relatively new, perhaps 400 to 500 years old. So if the letter J didn't exist 400 or 500 years ago, how could his name be Yahweh? I mean, Jehovah. Okay? His name is Yahweh. Okay? It says, uh... Jehovah Witnesses believe God is the creator and supreme being. Witnesses reject the Trinity doctrine, which they consider unscriptural, okay, which it is, okay, that the, Yahweh is the most high God, okay, and Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world enemy calls Jesus, okay, are separate, okay, they're not the same, okay, it says they view God as the Father, okay, which that's the truth, okay, we're talking about Yahweh, an invisible spirit, <coughs> person separate from the son uh jesus christ okay it says the holy spirit is described as god's force rather than the, the third party of third part of the tr trinity they believe god whose personal name is jehovah um is infinite but approachable he is omni he is not omnipresent but has a location in heaven it is possible to have a personal relationship with him as a friend he is kind and merciful and would not eternally torture wicked people. Being respectable, being respectful of the principle of free will, he does not force his sovereignty on people. Okay? Let's see what the word sovereignty is. Supreme power or authority. The authority of a state to govern itself or, or another state. A self-governing state. Okay? Now... See what this says, okay? What the Bible says about that. When you go into uh, the Bible... Okay. Basically, the scripture says, okay, I'm going to get one, one, this one. Okay. And I'm going to still try to find that one. Uh, Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and deceiver are his. Okay. So the Lord is in charge of the people who are deceived and, and the people who are uh, deceiving, okay? So anyone who says that the Lord doesn't, uh, he, he allows free will is a lie, okay? Now, um, I wanted to get the scripture where it says, uh, who, who have rejected his will, okay? Because cause you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, um, uh, if the Lord wants you to do something, okay, that's what you're going to do, okay? Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay. So to say that the Lord is respectful of, uh, uh, of principle, I mean, of the principle of free will is a lie. Okay. Because everybody's goings is of the Lord's. Okay. 
whether you're a, 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 a wicked man or, or a good man. Okay, it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Right? Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in, in man that walks to direct his steps. Okay? So the thing is that the Lord is the one who is in control of everything. Okay? Continuing on, it says, choosing to save only those who want to serve him, even those, I mean, even though the course of mankind is general, in general, may lead to, the, to them to harm. Witnesses teach that God may, must be distinguished by his personal name, Jehovah. His name is Jehovah. Okay, and when you go into the Bible, okay, there's, there, there was not uh, uh, millions of uh, Jehovah Witnesses that was saved during the time of Exodus. It was Israelites. Okay. The name of, of the name is a common modern Latinized form, right? It says the name is a common modern, okay, it's the modern name. You can't change somebody's name. Okay, Latinized form of the Hebrew tetragrammaton, which some some uh uh, Jehovah Witnesses do understand, okay, that when you go into the Hebrew, Yahweh, okay, is is there, okay? But they for the Tetragrammaton, okay, they just put Y H W H. Okay, it says or or four letter name transliterated as Y H W H. Okay, which there's no no such thing as Y H W H is being a name. Okay, it's Yahweh. Okay, Y A H A W A H. Okay, Yahweh. Okay, the use of his personal name is regarded as vital for true worship, and witnesses usually preface the term God with the name Jehovah. Okay, now just wanted to get some scriptures. Okay, like I said, where was Jehovah? Okay, during that time, okay, was they worshiping uh, the Lord the wrong way, okay? So, uh, continuing on, okay, during during slavery, no Jehovah witness, Je no Jehovah witnesses was in slavery, okay, only Israelites, okay, in America, okay, whether it's Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay. This is um. Psalms 53 and 6. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God brings the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Jo Jeremiah 30 and 3. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Okay, Israel consists of the, 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 the so-called Latino and, and Native American tribes. Okay, the ten tribes of Israel and Judah uh, is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay, the so-called Jews. Okay, the other tribes that that consist of the 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 twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, it says, "Save the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it." Okay, it don't say I will I will bring again the captivity of my people, Jehovah Witnesses. Okay. So once again, where was where was Je Jehovah Witnesses and, and Jehovah when our people was in slavery? And when are they, when are they going to go back into the land? They not man, okay. So with that, I want to say Salawam.